Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Cyberpunk 2077. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open up Steam. Head over to Cyberpunk. You're going to scroll down to your DLC. Go to manage my DLC. You're going to want to make sure this is checked right here. This allows you to install mods for the game. Once that's done, you're going to right click on the game. Go to Manage, Browse Local Files. Once here, you want to make sure you have a folder that says Mod or Mods. Go ahead and do that. You also want to make sure there is a folder in here as well. Once that's done, you can go ahead and uh, minimize the file explorer and Steam. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and head over to Nexus Mods. This is going to be your main website to get new mods for Cyberpunk. Now you have to download these mods in order for certain mods to work. How to download them is you go to Files. Go to Manual Download. Once here, click on Slow Download, and it'll start downloading for you. Do that for all of these. I'll have them down in the description for you to just click on them and download them like that. If you are new to Nexus Mods, you do have to create an account in order to download mods. Once those mods are done downloading, we're going to make a separate folder to keep track of all of our mods that go into the game. Go ahead and go to your file explorer, go to downloads and any mod New mod, I suggest dragging and dropping into this folder. Once that's done, we're going to go to our game folder again. Go to right click, go to manage, browse local files. Open up your mod folder. Go ahead and click on the mod. And you're going to drag and drop into this folder. Go ahead and replace. If it says that, go ahead and just push replace. Usually it won't say it, um, but if it does, just do that. Now do that for each individual mod. Now when downloading these mods, you're going to do it in a certain order. That way you no know, bugs appear or there's no crashes or anything like that. I'll have them down in the description for the link of each mod, top being the first one, bottom being the last one to download and install. Another thing to know is when you're installing these mods, make sure when you highlight and drag and drop that it says Cyberpunk 2077 and you're not dragging and dropping it and in a different folder that might corrupt the game. Once you've installed those mods, go ahead and open up Cyberpunk. Now you're going to be looking for this cog wheel right here. If you do not see that, the mods will not load. This cog wheel is from enabling the DLC red mod uh, what we did earlier in uh, steam so go ahead and click on that and enable mods once you've done that go ahead and play the game now if you did it successfully you'll be prompt with this uh, window so 
Go ahead and select or pick a key bind. I use F4 and J. You can use whatever you want, but go ahead and uh, do that. Now what this is, is this is all your background um, modifications. So if you use a mod to give you items, you will use this key binding to open up that um, uh, page and be able to access that. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power. Once you've done all that and you're at the main menu, go ahead and play the game. Make sure it runs all right. Now, after you're able to launch Cyberpunk without any crashes, we're going to go ahead and download uh, other mods. Do that by going to Nexus Mods again. We're going to download Let There Be Flight. This will also be in a link in the description down below. Go ahead and go to Files. Go to Manual Download. As you can see, we have already downloaded all these requirements. Now there are some mods that don't have the option to just simply drag and drop into the game folder. As you can see for Enhanced Police, it doesn't have a folder to just drag and drop into Cyberpunk. It just has the mods right there. Now you need a destination in order for mods to work. So let's go back to the Nexus mods webpage. You're going to go to the description of that mod. Most of the time it will show you and tell you where to install it. As you can see, it says right here. Now we will have to create this folder right here because it does not exist. So let's go ahead and go do that. Here we have our game folder for cyberpunk. Now, if we follow the folder path, so we have to go to R6, scripts, and right here is where we're gonna make a folder for the mod. Go ahead and name it the exact same. Once you've done that, go ahead and close out of the web page and go to your mod that you downloaded and just drag and drop right into that folder. A couple things to look for when downloading a new mod. Uh, one of the main things to look for is bugs, posts, files, and then requirements. Okay. Requirements is a very big thing in order for a certain mod to work. You must have these requirements in order for it to work. As for files, sometimes mods can have more than one file. Make sure you're downloading the right one. 
And as for posts, gives you detailed information about problems or things people need updated. And then bugs, well, just bugs with a mod. Not all bugs will affect your computer though. Sometimes you might have different bugs. Sometimes a mod might cause another mod to crash or not work. So keep all of those in mind. That is it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it and it was detailed enough for everyone to understand. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And thanks for watching.